I have your book and your course, and I'm an aspiring TV writer and director, and in September going to college, 16, oh my God, and was wondering, do you have any advice? Your videos have really helped me. Oscar, since you have my course and my book, I'm not gonna give you one piece of advice. I'm gonna give you three pieces of advice, and that's called favoritism. Okay, so first, before you go to your, your school, I would rewatch my, my screenwriting course from top to bottom, okay? This will give you a giant leg up over all the other students, I guarantee you, and you will probably wind up knowing more than most of your instructors. I know that sounds a little arrogant, but that's kind of true. Uh, sometimes you'll get an instructor who basically just graduated from the film school that you're in, you know? They, they finished and now they're teaching you. And so they may not know that much. And they certainly won't have 20 years of experience to draw upon. That's just not likely, okay? I could be wrong, right? Uh, it depends kind of where you live. In Los Angeles, I have many colleagues who, when they're in between jobs, they wind up teaching at local universities. If you could get one of them to teach you, you'd be in great shape. But, you know, the further away you get from Hollywood, the less likely you are going to find an instructor who really has that much of experience. Okay, so rewatch the course. That'll help. The second thing, give yourself permission to write a terrible first draft. A lot of people agonize over their first drafts. Oh, is this good? Is this good? Just write it. Don't worry. No one's going to see it. It's just for you. My daughter is a visual artist. And so when she's working on a project, she sketches the first, you know, the first draft. She'll just sketch with pencil. And it'll look terrible. But that's not what she shows people. That's just the beginning that's for her to work off of. Off of. And then, you know, the final product is beautiful. So think of your first draft as, you know, a sketch. It's just for you. Give yourself that freedom. And third, since you have my book, reread that story, uh, The House on Witherspoon Street. So there's a, um, for those who haven't read it, when I was in college, I desperately wanted to be a writer and I was rejected from the creative writing program twice. It just wasn't that good and it was crushing. My roommate suggested that I get a job or an internship at the local radio station, learn copywriting and radio was almost TV. Maybe it would fit, right? And so that's what I did. And it was kind of a miserable experience. And the radio station was in a house on Witherspoon Street. So that's why it's called that. And there I was befriended by an eccentric socialite who had her own radio call-in show. And she believed in me when I didn't, right? You're a writer. In, in, her, in my mind, I was already a writer. And I kind of fell into that trap of believing her, right? And that story recounts that, uh, that relationship that I had with her. Now, when I wound up writing my, my book, my top paper orchestra, and I was looking for an agent, I gave the ma manuscript to an agent. It took him months to read it. That's how long it takes. He finally reads it. He writes back to me. He goes, this is fantastic. Uh, let's do it. Let's take it out. And I was so happy. And I remember taking a walk afterwards, and I was almost on, almost on the verge of tears. And I was like, why am I so happy? I'm already a successful screenwriter. I've been doing it 20 years. I'm, I'm already successful. Why is this so important to me? And I, and I realized it was because I was finally the writer who I always wanted to be in college. Like this is the book that I, I wanted to write in college, but just didn't know how. So what am I saying here? And ironically, I wrote about, you know, that experience, uh, uh, House on Witherspoon Street. Why am I telling you this? It's because it may take you a long time to be the writer who you want to be. Writing is so, you know, writing is difficult. And it's not just figuring out what to say. It's also about figuring out what not to say, what you don't put in, in words. That's just as important. Writing is tricky. And so, again, just give yourself that latitude knowing, okay, this is a long journey I'm going on, but it's a worthwhile journey, you know? Oscar, good luck to you. It's going to be fun. You're going to have a lot of fun. Right? Keep me posted. Thanks so much.